What is up everyone? Now, first of all, no, I do not hate my Razer mouse, right? In fact, I love it, okay? I've been using this Razer Death at the Elite for more than two years now, even through it a few times, spam clicking it, any torture test you might think of, yeah, it, it's been through and it's still working fine as hell. Just a few dust and stain on it. Other than that, it's good as new. But that's just one thing that that's for me personally only, right? Just in my own personal, it's my own personal thing. It's just that I want to sync up my RGB software. I only want to use one RGB software to sync up everything. So I decided to change my mouse. Okay, this mouse is still working fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just I want to sync up. RGB software and I got a new one so I think you might be able to guess what is it already it's going to rain soon so yep the Corsair mouse of course obviously so what I have here is a Corsair Glaive RGB Pro and we are going to do an unboxing and of course a side-by-side -side comparison with my Razer mouse enjoy Alright, now before that, like I say, we are going to make a side-by-side -side comparison with my previous mouse, so that includes the box as well. So, yep, the Corsair box is thicker than the Razer mouse box. And, uh, okay, this is this may be lame, but come on, okay? Let's, let's accept it, right? So, other than that, box length, box height, it's the same. So, if you just hear about what, what might the average consumer will read at the back of the box so for the razer mouse you have what it says the world's most advanced 5g optical sensor through 16,000 dpi which to be honest if you are just an average user you won't even bother about the 16,000 dpi but unless you're some from highly competitive esports gamer maybe you give a shit about it but other than that no you won't bother it trust me and gaming optimized Razer mechanical mouse switchers, 50 million clicks. I can pretty much agree with that. I'm not sure if I reach 50 million clicks as well. So, next, award winning gaming ergonomics. Ergonomics, yes, ergonom. Ergonomics, alright? Yes, I agree with that because it does feel comfortable on my hands, alright? So, for the Corsair Glyph RGB Pro, you have a bunch of other languages. But you only read this unless you can understand the other languages. So comfortable contour shape. Yes, I can agree. Maybe because I haven't tried it. Because it has three interchangeable magnetic thumb grips, so you can switch the thumb grips based on your personal preference. And precision 18,000 dpi, which you won't give a damn probably. And 50 million click rated home run switches. Dynamic multi zone RGB lighting. Yeah, one thing about Corsair, they never get the RGB wrong. So, RGB lighting, multi dynamic multi-zone. Alright, so now Razer, you just sit aside, just chill here, and we are going to unbox the Corsair mouse. So, yep, just two tapes at the top here. I'll just do a quick slice through my pen knife. Okay, yep, that's the experience. Okay, let me just pull out and we will show you the box. Okay, let's set the box aside. What do we have here? The box itself. So, yep, braided cables. Cause is gonna provide braided cables. At that, at that price point, they better damn well give me braided cables. So, nothing much. Let's see what's in the box first before we take it out from its plastic. Hmm. Ah, yes, oh, here I thought, wait a minute, where's the interchangeable grips? Found it! It's at the back here, right? So, don't panic when you can't find your interchangeable thumb grip. It's behind the mouse, right? The mouse is over here, upgrade is over here, okay? It's not in the box. In the 
box. It's just your warranty guide and the user manual, which I believe you won't read this because it's just a mouse. Okay, who would read this? Like you don't, you don't even know how to use a mouse. Okay, so let's find a way to take this mouse out. Ah oh, yes, just open up these flaps. It should come out. Oh, damn it. Jesus. It's not moving. Where else is it supposed to be? Oh. Alright, yes. Came out. And more hidden flaps. Ah, one more hidden flap over here. Can you see it? Yes, right. Yeah, open it, yes, and you box it perfectly, yes. There's one thing is I like to keep the packaging in shape, so when I want to keep my mouse, I can just you know chuck everything back in and keep it as how I unbox it. So it's, it's just a personal hobby. Alright, so we just remove the plastic cover and you will get the mouse itself. Okay. So, just gonna let you admire this mouse a bit for a while. So, it's mouse itself and the thumb grips. So I believe one thumb grip is one thumb grip is on the mouse already. So that leaves me another extra two thumb grips over here. Let's do this first. So this is getting in my way, right? So the oddly satisfying moment of me unpeeling this plastic layer. There you go. Dump it real fast. Okay, so the bottom quality yeah, it feels the same as the razor mouse. Yeah, nothing different. So let's change the thumb grips. Yep, magnetic. You can see. Just take it out, put it back in. Take it out, put it back in. Okay, the the magnetic does uh, yeah, it, it grips on firmly, so you won't worry on you know flying it out when you smash the mouse. No, I, I, I don't. I'm not gonna smash it yet. Yet. Okay. So let's change the thumb grip and what, let's see what's the difference between. Yeah, this. Okay, the difference between this thumb grip and this thumb grip, I'm not sure if you can tell the difference, is this one has a little more, you know, get this more curve, curve, curvature on it that you know you can rest your thumb. So, yeah, you can even uh, tell it that you can see the curvature here. Yeah. Yes, my thumb does rest better on this. So I'm gonna keep this one. Yeah, it does feel better. So let's try this uh this thumb grip on steroids here yeah, because it has this extra chunk of plastic over here. Yeah, now you can tell it's on steroid. Okay, uh, it, yeah, it does feel a little bit extra. This point, like, it's like your thumb is just completely lazy around this area yeah, I think I'll go back with the previous one yeah this is better yeah it does feel better yeah I think I'll keep this uh, yeah I think I'll use this thumb grip right as I mentioned before we are going to do a side by side physical comparison between the Razer mouse and the Corsair mouse right I'm not going to go too technical about their 5G sensor mechanical switches arm run switches DPI any sort of that because I'm not a competitive uh, esports gamer I'm just a casual gamer so uh, sensitivity is not really my thing my thing is more about uh, ergonomics kind of thing because you know I game for hours so my hands are resting on the mouse for hours okay Com so comfort is more of my thing so for the Razer mouse yes the like I said their ergonomics does feel a lot better than this mouse you can tell because uh, especially for the, the the most obvious part is the what's this right click yes the right click 
uh, it has full curve curve on it for your right click to your your middle finger to rest on it. And on the other on the other hand, for the Corsair mouse, you can see that there's not much uh, curvature on the right click button. So your middle finger is not exactly you know uh, resting well on it. But overall, yes, I can accept the uh, ergonomics for this uh, Corsair Glyph RGB Pro because. I'm more of a palm grip type, so for the mouse, my hands are usually palm resting. So, yes, it does feel comfortable. I, I believe I can game hours on it. So, yeah, it doesn't very much. It's just that this one, my middle finger does feel a lot better. Middle finger does feel a lot better. But, yeah, so, yeah, okay. Yes, I can accept the. Uh, slight differences and next is the scroll wheel so for the razor i'm not sure it's because i've been using it for more than two years or what but yeah the scroll wheel feels kind of you know i need to apply a slightly more force on it to be able to click it and for the corsair it's easier for me to click the middle scroll wheel because it's new so i can't really tell if it's because of the, the duration of the usage or what but yeah this feels easier to click and this is a bit harder to click and design uh, the Corsair the scroll wheel is slightly larger than the Razer so yeah and for the mouse button 4 and 5 the Corsair because the way they designed the mouse button 4 and 5 they kind of you know a little bit edgy yeah, the button have edges. It's not. Uh, it's not like unlike Razer. They the way they design the mouse button four and five. They flush it. So yeah, it's a smooth surface. So when your thumb is moving around mouse button four and five, yeah, it doesn't hurt that much. For the Corsair mouse button four and five, sometimes it might hurt. Okay, because it has edges between mouse button four and five. So you can see here button 4 and 5 it has edges right so your thumb might get hurt after you know prolonged usage but that's just how they design it right so for razor mouse 4 but mouse 5 yes it feels more comfortable than the Corsair mouse button 4 and 5 so the DPI button nothing much to tell about because you won't usually use those two buttons all right and for rgb wise the razor only has rgb at the scroll wheel and the logo itself okay and the corsair it has rgb at the scroll wheel side this entire line here this uh five is it five yes five led and at the side here and the logo so yes it's a hell of a lot of rgb on this mouse okay so why don't we just plug in the Corsair mouse and witness the full the full glory of its RGB right plug it in and oh the RGB is on this mouse oh oh wait oh I was wrong about the scroll wheel it doesn't have RGB on the scroll wheel because the RGB is on the front of the mouse yes it's basically like a headlight at this point. Your, your mouse have headlights now. Okay, so yes, that's it. RGB on the side, the logo, and the five LED. So I believe this LED is the indication for the DPI level. So yes, for increasing your DPI, you will have more RGB LEDs on it. But I won't think any same. Oh my god, it's so fast. Nope, nope, nope. Going back down to one. All right. So that's how I usually use my mouse. Only one level of DPI. Okay. So yes, make sh make sure you download the Corsair IQ software for you to fully utilize what this mouse can do. Okay. So like this uh, Corsair IQ software, what you can do is like uh, you have macro actions you can do playing around with RGB. Uh, let's see the DPI for you to set around. I don't think I'll play around with this much because 800 is where I'm most comfortable with. 
and performance which I haven't figured what it, is, what it is but it has angle snapping, enhanced pointer precision, pointer speed, surface calibration which I will do later on my mouse pad and yes you can save a uh, onboard profile as well so just make sure you download this Corsair IQ software as long as you have Corsair products you just download this IQ software because it can bring out the full Corsairness of your peripherals or RAMs or whatever, right? So that's all for today's unboxing and short quick comparison review video whatever of the Corsair Glaive RGB Pro. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, enable the notification button and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.